Hello and welcome back and that's right I'm still here at Computex over in Taipei going through all of the new hardware releases and of course although I do love a bit of SSD and I have been talking about that and those little YouTube shorts I love NAS and I'm going to talk about NAS and one of the NASs that kind of caught me unawares I'll be straight with you was this the Asus Store Nimbus Store Gen 2. Now for those that have followed this channel for a while I'm sure you know you'll know I was kind of bowled over by the original Nimbus Store from Asus Store. Now, for those of you in the US, that name may seem a little bit off, like you've not really heard of it. There was something of a change of naming convention during the series uh, that arrived back in 2019. And indeed, one of the first devices that we covered last time we were in uh, Computex in 2019 was the Asus Store Nimbus Store series, a 2.5 um, GBE. They were one of the first, if not the first, desktop NAS device provider uh, in desktop form to arrive for 2.5G, and it had two of them on board. And it utilized uh, an Intel Celeron processor before every else did um, of that particular product family the j4125 series now um, the number store gen 2 series otherwise known as the as 5404t uh, a 5404t and the as 5402t arriving in two and four bay are very much built in the same ilk as the predecessor but much like the locker store gen 2 series have done a bit of ramping up there in the background now what does that entail well the first thing that I uh, was really, really surprised by was the CPU choice. This, uh, both the two and the four bay are both arriving with quad core processors there, and that is the N5105 CPU. Now, one, of course you've heard of it, it's the one that's in the majority of desktop NAS prosumer systems right now. The second reason you may have heard of it is it's the same CPU that's in the Locker Store series currently from Acer Store there. So it seems a little bit of an overlap by the brand in their portfolio utilizing that same CPU. However, they have ramped things up in several other areas, arriving with 4 gig of DDR4 memory inside. Of course, that can be upgraded to the official Max there internally by the system. We're going to have to double check about just how far that can go. But both the 2-bay and the 4-bay both arrive with 4 gig of memory, of DDR4 memory, non-ECC straight off the bat. But what's really interesting about this 2 and the 4 bay is, again, much like the Locker Store, this system is arriving in either 2 or 4 bay configurations, but they've both got 4 M2 NVMe bays as well, turning the 2 bay effectively into a 6 bay and the 4 bay effectively into an 8 bay. Now, I always liked the number store casing. I thought it was quite sick. The, the, the kind of red and black effect there and the kind of slightly angular um, a front panel there. And although the locker store is a much more industrial looking NAS, I like the design of this. Also, when we flip the device around, we're able to see that not only does it arrive for 2.5 GBE, exactly what we would expect, a couple of ports there, but also all of the USB ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2. So you get some lovely 10 gig USBs uh, to be attached to it there. So. The system itself seems very similar to that of the lock store. Indeed, both of them arriving um, with a very similar design threshold in terms of the ports connectivity and the internal hardware. So why would a person go for this device and not the lock store? Well, the locker store, it's metal. It's going to be noisier there as well. It's got the front mounted LCD panel and the ventilation on the system. It's going to be more audibly noticeable there. Probably will keep things at a fraction cooler there inside, but still nonetheless, this system using a predominantly plastic chassis there with a removable front panel and plastic trays, much like its predecessor, is definitely going to be a more modest scale. It's going to be a modest noise and just general footprint in your environment. CPU utilization is going to be comparable to that of the locker store, but just bear in mind that it's how the rest of this system is going to work around those components. Now, also alongside this, Asus Store also have a new expansion device. They, are, uh, they have revealed a new 4-bay USB 3.2 Gen 2 4-bay expansion device there. So again, a 10 gigabits per second expansion chassis that you can bolt on. Also with its USB Type-C port there on the rear. So you're going to be able to take advantage of that 1000 megabytes per second connection between the core 2 or 4-bay here and that four bay expansion. So you've got more than enough bandwidth, even if you fully populated it with SSDs, to really take advantage of that expansion device there. Now, it looks like that expansion device is going to be um, uh, managed by the system. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens when you connect it to a PC chassis, but overall, at least it's still a high 
uh, external inter, uh, high performing external interface expansion device from Asus Lock here. And it's also worth highlighting that it almost certainly is going to work with other devices in their portfolio as an expansion chassis there. So overall, the Nimbus Store Gen 2, I'm not going to say is a tremendous upheaval over the Locker Store. In fact, the two of them are very comparable indeed for two devices that are around eight months apart, I believe. But it is a big jump over the previous generation Nimbus Store. Whether you knew it as the Nimbus Store or the AS. 5202T and 5304T, if I remember those model IDs. Um, overall, I think this is an interesting development from them as they uh, do a Gen 2 of a lot of their systems, and they are revisiting the Drive Store series as well. With the Drive Store uh, arriving in a new Gen 2 series that's taken advantage of that new ARM RTD 1619B processor that we've seen in a few other NAS systems thus far. Again, making it a much more affordable, efficient ARM based alternative. But that's everything we know uh, about Acer Store's new releases that they revealed at Computex. We're going to write up a lot of this and update a master article below, so do stay tuned for that. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more coverage of things here at Computex. I will see you next time.